Yo, what up, YouTube? ZFO619 in the building. And, um, yeah, as you can tell by the title of this video, um, we had another LC. And your boy came in first place again. So I got two first place LC championship, you know what I'm saying, under my belt. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Brandon Herrera. You know what I'm saying? We was doing the damn thing. Him and his 10 minute turns in at the time. It's all good. But, yeah, I took first place. Um, yeah, and then I won. So then I got my first place card, and I'll show that in a second. And then I won five breakthrough packs, which I'm going to open on camera for you guys. Um, Y'all should have seen me, though. Um, so I won with uh, with Toad Tina. So Seismitoad, Garatina, that's the deck I played. A lot of people thought I was going to play Hound Doom, and I was testing Hound Doom for a week or whatever. But like I just I just wasn't feeling it because a lot of stuff just ended up prized and I couldn't get my prizes and so on and so forth. But then I psyched people out though because as you guys know, if you see my last my other uh, LC report video, um, I played Mega Sceptile. I love 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 that card or I love 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 that deck. I mean I played it for a long time and I was just kicking butt with it and I ended up winning the other LC. So if you haven't seen that, make sure you go check out that report video and that pack opening video and all that um and then my first place card or whatever but then so then i played garrett uh seismitoad seismitoad almost said seismatina <laughs> seismitoad garrettina but i sleeved it in some grass uh sleeves so people was like oh he's playing septile he's playing septile he's playing septile i'm gonna play fire i'm gonna play this i'm gonna play that and i hit him with that toe teeth and it was like boy stop let me tell you though should see the look on their faces so first round i played a um <clears throat> i played like a uh, like a colorless dark deck or something, but you know, he wasn't really setting up. I just seismitoed him for the whole game, like literally a Quake and Punch turn two, and then he just would draw a pass, draw a pass, draw a pass. Six owed him, body bags, right? Second round, I was playing, uh, it was like Fighting Fire, so it was like Lucario EX and like Pyroar, like the Intimidating Main Pyroar, and then like Soul Rock and some, some other stuff, right? Body bagged him, right? Six owed. Um, I didn't even toad lock him. I just used a lone seismitoad. I had like, I mean, not a lone seismitoad, excuse me, like a lone, a lone Garatina. And then I Lissandre his Litleo because, you know what I'm saying? I ain't playing with that intimidating main nonsense. Oh, this was standard, by the way, if anybody was wondering if it was expanded or standard. Um, it was a standard. So my list was just kind of like a standard, standard esque uh, Totina list. Um, you know, hammers and all that good stuff. So I was hitting hammers and everything. And so, yeah. Uh, round, third round, I played Brandon Herrera. Shout out to Brandon Herrera, who never hits me back because sometimes he's a jerk. No, I'm just kidding. Um, he was playing, uh, you know, Gallade, Gallade, Zorark, uh, Ibutal. And, man, this, we was going back and forth. Not. This fool goes first or whatever. This fool has, like, a 22-minute turn, like, he played like four trainers mail, three ultra ball. Oh my goodness, this is setups with Shaman. This boy was moving though. He was trying to set up though because he wasn't playing no games. You know what I'm saying? Because he was like, you know, he was one of those who thought I was playing Sceptile, but I wasn't. I hit him with that toe teen. He was like, what? So yeah, this fool had like a 22 minute turn, was setting up or whatever, passes on to me. I like, I attached, no, he judged me. That's what happened at the end of his turn. He judged me and, you know, he did some other stuff or whatever. He was like, yo, he was like, Anthony, he was like, you get anything? And I was like, man, I got an ultra ball because, you know, when somebody judges you, you like, man, I just hope I get an ultra ball, ultra ball my way up out of this. So I got an ultra ball, you know what I'm saying? Got the hoopa, dropped the shaman, set up for like five or whatever, attached DCE, quaking bunch, and then time was called, right? Boom, time was called. And so then we were just going back and forth. So then, uh, it ended up in a tie, in all honesty, that it was a legitimate tie. But shout out to Brandon Herrera, you know what I'm saying? He was doing a damn thing. And then last round, I was playing uh, Quad Ente. Uh, the Ente, of course, with the that you could put double tools on it and stuff like that. So uh, they had a muscle band and a, and a salt vest. And, you know, I was still quake and punch them because I had the muscle band or whatever. I was quake and punching them for like 20. And uh, we was kind of going back and forth. But uh, they ended up uh, prizing three Ente was prized. So it was like... It was pretty much over, and I pretty I zero sick to the 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 assault vest, and then I was quaking punching for a hundred or whatever, even though they were reducing, and so it was you know it was whatever. So I went three oh one, but you know with my percentage and stuff like that, I still won. Um, another thing, real quick before I show my binders and open the packs, I'm trying to talk real fast so the video is not twenty minutes long. Um, so I 
I'm gonna keep playing Totina, but if you guys see my other what you run, I think 23, episode 23 it was, it was Totina Garbador, you know, with cards from the new set. Um, I was able to fit in that, you know, that third crushing hammer and stuff like that. Um, I might show you guys list another video, but that's whatever. Um, <clears throat> uh, let me know what you guys think. I was actually thinking of putting a 2-2 two, two Zoroark in, so I have another attacker for DCE, as well as, you know, since I'd be playing Floatstone anyway, I can do the stand and retreat type thing. Um, with standard format, you know, but abilities are so heavy, you know, gold, gold duck and aromatisse and metal links and shaman and hoopa and all that good stuff. So I don't know, let me know, guys. But yeah, so got two binders here, Pokemon over here, trainers and supporters over here, just so you guys can see real quick that I ain't playing no games. Slow King, holla at your boy. Uh, where is it at though? I don't know if you guys can see that. Boom, there it is right there. That's my other one. So you guys seen that first place one from when I played Mega Septile one. And there's my other first place for Marowak. Um, did I get anything new? Yeah. You know, I, I got more of those Slow Kings. The new one right here. Um, I got a Dark Slow King. Shout out to Kevin for, you know, hooking it up, you know, for my Slow King collection. Just, you know, different ones right here. So I got a Dark Slow King. I got a Full Art Purple Cat. X-Ball Mewtwo, holla at your boy. I've been wanting that for a long time. Um, I got a third, I got a third uh, Secret Rare Mewtwo, which is for trade. So if anybody's trying to, you know, stock up on the, the Shadow Shop Mewtwo's, you know, with the that go with the good Psychic Infinity one, let me know. Uh, you know, I got a third one of those. And I don't want to get in too deep because I got a, uh, I'll do a, a trade binder real quick. I don't know if you guys seen that. But I got a Manaphy EX. Um, I'm not trying to trade this one just yet because I like Manaphy, you know, from the new set. I got my full art. I got that from the pre-release. So I don't think that's for trade right now. Um, if anybody has Hydreigon EX uh, full art, let me know. I do want to trade for that. Um, I need another one. Um, eh. I'm not really too sure. I don't want to flip through everything. Ninja Break. I don't know. I'll save that for another video, guys. And then, um, for my trainers and supporters, you know how I do. That's missing. I miss, I'm running one Misty's now in my Totina deck, not two. That's why there's a missing card right here. I think I was looking for something specific. You guys know how I do with the trainers and supporters and Pokemon cards and stuff like that. Those are puzzle, puzzles of time, but, you know, I took those out of whatever. Um, what was I going to... I'm trying to look to see what card I was going to say if you guys had it. There it is, yeah. If anybody has Secret Rare, Gold, and Hands Hammer, let me know. I'm specifically looking for that card. I'm looking for the Stand and Zora. And then uh, the Zora, if you guys have the Zora, I think it's from X and Y. I'm not too sure which set it's from. Um, it's the one that has Paralyzing Gaze. The, the basic, the Zora. I got a blue, bursting balloon. Um, it has Paralyzing Gaze. That's the Zora I'm looking forward to as well. But like I said, I'll trade these trade binders for another time, for another video. Let's get into these packs, though, boy. First place, holla at your boy. It's all breakthrough, so I'm going to just start with this first one and see what's populating with this, though, boy. Let me take a co two, three, one. Oh, that's a full art already. First pack, though. You guys know how I do. Be filling up on the cards. I already feel the lines in it and stuff like that. So there's a full art right there for your boy. Let's see what we got. <clears throat> So we got uh, Woobat, Swablu, um, Snover, Rufflet, Scatterbug, uh, Staravia, Pinsir, and Bahim. The reverse is Magnemite, which is dope. And then the full art, EX, maybe, or whatever it is. The full art is a Mega Glalie. So, yeah. Hey, full art is a full art. I take it, though. Boy, let me tell you. The first pack, full art EX, and I take it, though. Uh, so we got Pancham, uh, Finnegan, Magnemite, Ralts, Chespin, uh, Glalie Spirit Link, it's ironic, uh, Cacturn, Sea King, Sea King, Sea King, Reverse is Hippowdus, and then the rare is Aromatis. So that's that. Dang, dang, oh, 
I was thinking about playing online. What you guys think about playing the you know the TCG online? You know what I'm saying? I was thinking about doing. I was having fun with the homie the other day, and he's like, "Yeah, you can get on it." Um, Padpour, uh, Cyndaquil, because I don't play online. Star you, uh, Doduo, Ghastly, uh, Go Goat, Swoobat, and Frogadier. Uh, the reverse is Starly with Call for Pals, not Call for Family, but Call for Pals, and then the rare. <laughs> it's Glalie, so Glalie EX and Mega Glalie EX, which is pretty funny. That's that's hilarious. Hilarious. Uh, let's go to this other pack. One, two, three, four. Uh, yeah. uh, Swinub, Ralts, Panseer, Meowth, Ghastly, Snorlax. Uh, Spoopa, Skyla, that's always dope. Uh, reverse is Chatat. And then the rare is Empoleon, which is like a shiny, hollowisk Empoleon dignified fighter. So I'll take that. That, that. You know what I'm saying? That's dope. Each of your opponents, base, or each of your opponents, each of your basic Pokemon do 20 more damage. You know, I'll take that. One, two, three. One, two. All right, last pack, guys. Uh, we got Inke. Chespin, Doduo, uh, Finnegan, Zorua, uh, Moon's Madness, uh, Braxin, Super Rod, I'll take it, and then a Gramble. Uh, the reverse is Floet, and the rare is Cresselia. So, yeah, I got a Sky Little. And that reverse uh, Magnemite, that's pretty good though. I'll take that. And then, you know, as you see in the first pack, I pulled. Full art Mega Glalie, and then the other EX was Glalie EX regular art. Uh, both of these are for trade if anybody needs them, and I actually have more if many of you needs more. Um, this Magnemite probably isn't for trade, um, but all this is right here. All these Magnemites, or this, this down here is for trade, and then these are for trade. Um, yeah, so congratulations to me. Three out of 300. Let's get it. Uh, States is coming for Colorado. Not till like April something. And then States for New Mexico is like the following weekend. So I'm going to try to go to both of those. Um, since I'm on, a, I'm on a roll right now. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, my major, major ones are the stand-in Zorark. The Paralyzing Gaze Zora. And then for sure, for sure is a Secret Rare uh, Gold's Crushing Hammers. Um... Man, I guess I could just go buy them, but, you know, I'm coming to you guys. And the look out later in the week, maybe on Thursday or so, because today's Monday. Well, today's technically Tuesday, because it's after midnight, but maybe, like, Thursday, um, States time, United States Day or whatever you want to call it. Um, I'll make a video uh, showing these binders, because, you know, I got these things Back to the max though, boy, let me tell you, they heavy though. I gotta I had to change my backpack to go ahead and switch those things. Um, yeah, but thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure you like, comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, give a shout out to Brandon Herrera for, you know, giving me a chance. You know, giving me two turns before time is called, and then we ended up in the tie, which we almost just ID'd anyway, but it's all good. We just laughed about it. Um, yeah, if you guys want a code card, let me give you a code card. This could be a full art EX right here. So we got S97 YPKS KN5 SMN. And it's an X right breakthrough booster. You know what I'm saying? Whoa. There you go. So, first person who plays online and watches this video, you can have that code card. You know what I'm saying? Get that in there real quick. Um, yeah. Like I said before, thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure you like, comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, hopefully, I have a battle video popping because Brandon ho owes me like 12 of them. And, um, yeah, shout out to me for winning the LC. I'm not a scrub. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.